welcome to the stage and to Longevity Live, Mr. Theo Radliff. You know, I learned something new about you today that it, I wasn't sure of. We're oh. backstage, we're putting on our jerseys, and sorry, sorry, we, we only got the kids' seats, I guess. <laughs> Everybody else fit fine. <laughs> That's Patty. a very flattering pose, Theo. <laughs> yeah. Patty, make another I'm gonna note. Stretch out. I'm going to stretch out a little bit. <laughs> Theo, you're the only person I've ever met in my life that has to bend over to give a high five. Uh, oh, man. It's, uh, yeah, I have pretty, to do a lot pretty of Pretty amazing. I have to do a lot of that. You know, a lot of people uh, have seen you on the, on the rebound canisters and, and seen you on the side of Ted's bus um, on that RV. If you guys uh, have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, there's a, some interesting things in, uh, in your uh, NBA history. I know in, in 2001, you, were, uh, uh, you made the, uh, the all-star team. And uh, it's funny, I was looking at stats earlier today, I love numbers, and I noticed that, um, uh, that you didn't play a lot of games uh, right after that, but uh, in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the stats it said that you had suffered uh, some injuries. Yes. As a matter of fact, um, what was most interesting was the very next year, the 2002-2003 season, mm -hmm. how, many, how many games are in an NBA season? 82. 82 games. Yeah. And how many games? After a season, you played three games, and they yep. told you you would probably never play basketball again. Exactly. The very next year, out of the 82 games, how many games did you play? Uh, I looked it 82? up. It was, it was 81. <laughs> 81. 81 okay. out of 82 yeah. games yeah. the very next yeah. year. Now, nowhere, <laughs> nowhere on Wikipedia, on basketballnba.com, any of that stuff, nowhere did I find the reason why that happened. Can you tell us what happened between the time they told you you were never going to play again and the time you smashed all records the very next year? Well, I mean, of course, longevity was what happens. Um, no, I, I was having a, a great year in 2001, made the All-Star team, um, as he said, and, you know, just was on top of the world. I think we were 41 and 12 at the time and was the top team in the league getting ready to go into the uh, All-Star game and was highly favored, you know, as far as uh, getting to the finals, uh, to, to the championship. So, um, unfortunately, I, I broke my wrist um, that – probably the last two games before the All-Star game and suffered a, a fractured wrist and had to sit out and ended up coming back from that um, a little while later, but just went up for a routine rebound and ended up tearing my hip and tore my labrum in my hip and they were saying it was, it was, it was so severe that it would be a possibility that I wouldn't be able to play again. So I was rehabbing, rehabbing, rehabbing and Mike Glenn, you know, who's, who's become a great friend, great ambassador you know, of the Young Jeopardy products, I overheard him speaking to one of my teammates about it. And I had just got to the team, so I was like, Mike, let me know a little bit more about that, you know, that mineral deficiency thing that's, that's going on and that calcium deficiency, because I think that's what, that's what I'm suffering from, because I had suffered a lot of injuries before that particular time. And... You know, things was hurting, joints was hurting, um, and then this happens just out the blue. And um, so once I met Mike Glenn and uh, the great Phil Oliver, um, they kind of just sat me down and explained to me about what Dr. Joel Wallach has been teaching for years and understanding that if you don't put the minerals back into your body, your body not going to function properly. And as you sweat, you sweat out of super minerals where when you don't know any better, you just think you're just sweating salt. But when you, you're sweating a super mineral, so I was more susceptible to injuries like a lot of the other guys that play the sport and sweat a lot. So um, having a great opportunity of getting on the product for that full year I was sitting out and it was like a dream come true, a miracle come true. And I was so determined to get back after they told me I would, I would probably not be able to play again. And, 
and being able to put these uh, minerals in my body every single day, and I haven't stopped since. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Derek has been a fan of yours for a, for a lot of years. Yes. And uh, backstage, we he were got talking. Referees and, jersey on, and, and he said that. <laughs> what was that? that? We don't like referees. <laughs> <laughs> he said that you're really not as tall as you appear. In fact, he said, he said, with one hand tied behind his back, he could strip the ball from you. Oh, really? And uh, I just happened. He's a comedian, right? I just happened. I just happened to have. He's definitely a comedian. A basketball here. And uh, you know what? I. I you do a lot I think more he was telling a, a non-truth. So what I'd like to do <laughs> is just see. Hold, hold that up for me. <laughs> Come on, show me them hops. Let's see them hops. He needs some more rebound. He needs some rebound. Let's get him some rebound, please. Oh, oh, don't fall. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Somebody go back there and get him some rebound. You tell, yeah. <laughs> See that reaction? That's just normal. I almost took your head off. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you. I know you was playing. I want to. I want to tap out. This, I want a substitution coming in. All right, maybe I lied a little bit. All right, whatever. Whatever. All right, lesson learned. All right, I'll play your game. All right, you know what? Hey, let me tell you something. All that joint mobility stuff that San Sanjeev talks about, that didn't work for nothing right there. <laughs> you know, I give Derek a round of applause for giving it a good college try. Oh.